does, yeah? Saying goodbye to your old partner who's retiring, what better way than to have a party under the shadow of the Tyrannosaurus Rex fossil, something like that. Um, well, maybe that's not the best send-off to give to somebody, but uh, it might be appropriate in some circumstances. Um, so, but things like that, like Christmas at the museum, special special things where, you know, kicking out time six o'clock and after that the money-making starts. Um, then I'd want to make sure that if it had been done by the time I got to be director of doing it three times a week, that when I did it, it was four times or five times a week. Um, benchmarks as to how much would be made in each time we made, we did one. I went to Madame for Swords and saw how they do things. Um, I know a lot of events organisers, people like Dynamic, and I would be able to get some help from them um, on how things are seen from their side of the desk, and perhaps get some get, get a lot of events, additional events done just by different the, the not the knowledge of knowing a little bit about the corporate landscape and knowing who's likely to want to do events and who isn't um, doesn't hurt. Ooh, nice uh, nice lakes on either side of the road. Now I'm going to overtake this guy. Anybody where knows where that comes from? What I just said? Stamm aus Litauen, echt Deutsch. Where does that come from? Answers in the comment section. Which poem was I quoting? up and uh, completely brown on either side of the road. Let's get some nice detergent on the windscreen. That's it. It's a nice smooth ride. But you know, I do declare that uh, even now at only at only two o'clock Polish time, one o'clock Polish time, time, two o'clock Latvian time, local time, it's already starting to incline itself to be a little bit later in the day, isn't it? Start, I'm losing light. Or is that just the depth of the fog? Nice pile of logs there. There's a very nice Norwegian, I don't know if anybody here likes Norwegian music. I'm a fan of Anita Skorgan and all of that lot. And uh, I, I quite like some of their, some of their, it's, it's got a kind of country homely feel to it. Uh, some of it's a little bit, they have a tendency to like a little bit of hard rock sometimes, which I don't go like this enough, but some of it's got a like, kind of nice country homely feel. And one of the guests that's regularly part of the club there is Anita herself. And if you wonder about Anita Skorgan from Norway, she was she sang a few times, represented Norway in the Eurovision Song. Um, and she's uh, yeah, she's a, she's a guest there, and it's a it's a it's a uh, it's a it's a program called Fair Gangvi Mortis. Yeah, every time we meet, or each time we meet, um, and at the back of these, uh, they meeting around a kind of table, in which there's all these bottles on the table, like they're having a nice drink up. The bottles tend to not have anything in them though, and also they don't tend to, even if they've got something in their glasses, not once do you see them raise glasses to their lips. This is not the way I can promise you I behave when I'm at a table in good company talking about music, the glass comes up to the lips both of mine and of the people that are talking with me at fairly regular intervals. But this is obviously a bit of a stylized situation where they have this lovely table as a fire crackling away and one of the walls is made up purely of logs. 
that's what they'd like you to believe, of course. What they've got is they've got a wall and they've put, as if it was a log pile, just the last centimetre or so of logs, and just put them all together, different sizes, um, as if it was a log pile. Yeah, so that it looks as though you're a, you've got a log pile built up as the final wall of your room. Well, that's nice, I quite like that as a de decorative idea to have something that looks like you've got a log pile there. Um, super, wouldn't mind trying that myself So, um, but that's what they've got. They've got this lovely, uh, and then they've got a little stage there next to the table which you know somebody from the people that are sitting at the table then gets up and makes a performance for the benefit of the rest of them and the idea of having a nice and they're, and they're all people that are famous it's a little bit it's russian style of doing of doing these programs except for they do it on a bit of a bigger budget and they have lots and lots of people at different tables at once but uh, it's just a comfortable like kind of nice with, with these famous norwegian musicians just sharing each other's memories and experiences and playing like it's like a little concert and it's a nice program format it should be taken in my opinion on by other countries as well um, but i can't do it it's not my format but they should probably sell that format to other, to other countries Kvergang v mortis every time we meet it's nice so um uh i can't say not the norwegian of course but it's just this very pleasant kind of atmosphere um, to watch it. I've watched quite a few of them and I've never seen anybody drink anything really and I've sometimes quipped in the comments sections of those uh, of those uh, films that it's because alcohol costs so much in the Scandinavian countries that they can't actually afford to um, to drink it anymore in these days of, of illegal music downloading making enough money to drink probably not the case it's just because it's a stylized program but uh, they're musicians anyway not actors if they were actors they'd probably be drink remembering to drink more often Ich überschreite alle meine Beschränkungen. Wie der Chairman Mao gesagt hat, verstehe deine Beschränkungen und überwinde sie. minutes, I don't know if we'll have hit counters, it would have been good if we'd have, we're not going to hit it anyway. We're going to go around the outside because it will save me time on this rather long journey, but at least I've gotten, to have shown you how to get to counters from Riga without any missing footage would be a good thing to achieve. So you can see that the, the whole road, it's a very quality road I have to say, obviously European money has been poured into it, that's clear. Lithuania is colder than Poland. That doesn't mean to say it's not necessarily colder than Poland today of all days. It might not be. It might be warmer than Poland. It depends on the way the wind blows and where it's coming from. But uh, so far it's just, in the morning. In, actually, the funny thing is that in Riga it was three degrees in the morning, and now it's the afternoon and it's further south, and it's two degrees. That doesn't bode well necessarily. 
for later. I expect I will be getting snow, but. Uh...